Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Game of Thrones. My name is Courtney, otherwise known as Olivia Sturmcloud here on YouTube, and we are going to continue with the Game of Thrones. If you guys are excited for this episode, can we hit 60 likes, guys? 60 likes. That's all we need, 60 likes. And that would be absolutely amazing. Let's let me know that you guys are enjoying the video as much as I am playing it. So we are playing as Roderick. Um, we have to walk to the door, so <laughs> let's see how we do. Alright, here we go. Oh. Okay, that didn't work very well. Okay. That didn't work very well. That didn't work. Fine. Ugh. Why'd you do that? I won't let anyone see you like this. Oh, man. Not when the house appears so weak already. They've already seen me. I was rolled in on a corpse can. The damage is done. But you're the lord of the house now. Uh-oh. You must appear strong, solid. You can't do that on the floor. <sighs> it's a long way to the Great Hall. I need a wheelchair. We can't risk you falling <laughs> where others can see. Take my hand. Let me help you. I guess... I Thank you, nice. Talia. I want to be nice. She's already been Ready? through so much. <laughs> okay, here we go. That's it. Come on. Okay, here we go. Slow but steady. Slow but steady. We will make it to the door. Everyone will be so glad to see you up. Though, I think you'll find that much has changed. Oh boy. She hasn't changed though, that's good. <sighs> we're at the wall, and we're as Garrod! Yay, Garrod! It's really cold. Oh, okay. Uh, look at, I guess? I don't know. Ooh. This looks scary. Hello? Castle Black. So this is the seat of the Night's Watch. Okay, what do I do? The wall. Always wanted to see it, but not like this. Recruits at the gate! run away? How did we find it? <laughs> oh, do I have to go? Okay. Hello, everybody. I'm here to join. Your arrival, is it? Yeah. Another one for Frostfinger. On a horse, no less. How else am I supposed to get here? <laughs> I can't fly. Oh, who's that guy? Ow. Jeez, what's that for? Looks like it was built by giants. Doesn't it? You're uh, new. Here to I... take the black. Mm. Cause you got that look about you. Sure. Aye. I am. Thought so. I'm new here myself. Cool. Newbies. Frostfinger. He's the one you want. Handles all new recruits. Frostfinger? That's a name. Which one's Frostfinger? That grizzled old prune over there. Says us new recruits are all dead men. But don't let him scare you. <laughs> that's just his way. <laughs> you seem nice. That's not so good round here. Oh, I have to be mean? I don't want to be Go mean. Back. Okay. Talk to Frostfinger. We're gonna look at stuff first. You fight like a girl. A woke hey. girl, maybe. There's nothing wrong about girls. No. Girls can fight. Use the barrel? Huh. 
It's warm. Uh, does that, <laughs> does that mean what I think it does? Okay, we'll go upstairs, I guess. Hello, sir. I need to be mean now. <clears throat> you recruits. You come, you train, you fight, you die. Uh... Who are you, boy? Um... Garrett. I'm Garrett Tuttle, nephew to Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of Ironrath. Yes. Garrett Tuttle of Ironrath. Uh-huh. And how does a Castellan's nephew get himself sent to the wall? You're a thief. A raper. You uh... abandon your post. Or do you just fancy dying someplace None of your cold? business. That's none of your business. You're a castle black boy. Every last water on <laughs> your freezing cold ass is my business now. Oh, man. Why am I you here? You arrive on horseback, wearing a soldier's livery. I know exactly who you are, Garrett Tuttle. Okay, then why did you ask me? Sir? From Duncan Tuttle, Castellan of House Forester. My uncle wrote to the Night's Watch. He goes on for a bit, but then he asks us to make you a ranger. Uh -oh. As if it's a knighthood. So you see, Tuttle, I know all about you. Creepy. And yes, it is my business, all of it. The sooner you learn that, the better. I have to be mean, though. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, be nice now. <laughs> we'll start your training in the morning. Okay. For today, you need a cot and a cloak. Uh, Understood. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, this gonna... Tuttle. Oh. Sooner or later, the night's watch will be your death. When it comes, try to make it quick. What? The night watch? Well, I'm obviously very confused. That guy didn't seem very nice, though. And last we'd heard, Asher was in Slaver's Bay. So, Malcolm caught a ship headed for... I heard they took him off a corpse cart. <laughs> and he's missing his arms and legs. <laughs> At least he can still eat and shit. The White Hill soldiers are <laughs> drunk again. <laughs> and we have too few men to handle them. Mm. Let's just get to the Great Hall. How rude. You're well, in somebody else's house. I say he's dead. The heck? And dressed up some peasant in his place. Fill me up, would you? I want to, like, And bring slap you some him. salted pork while you're at it. Ew, no, Fill no pork yourself for you. up, you lazy fuck. Oh my gosh. Line's almost done, actually. Is that him? No. Has to <laughs> be, doesn't it? Shh. He's hideous. Shut up. Had a run-in with Walder cripple. Frey, did you? And he's Haters gonna hate. Haters gonna hate. Haters gonna hate. Hate, Forrest, hate, hate. Forrest, real cursed. shame about your leg, oh, Lord. Give a toss. Don't Whatever. let go of your sister now. Whatever. Whatever. Haters gotta hate. Is they have that mentality in Game of Thrones? We have business in the Great Hall. Oh, God. <laughs> Go around. What? Get out of my way. Get out of my way. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. Oh. And I don't think you're gonna make me. Oh yeah, I am. I'm the freaking owner of this place. I'm the king. I'm the lord. Get out of my way. I wonder what's weaker. Your legs. Or this house. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm the lord of this house. I am the lord of this house. And you will move. Yes. Move. Move. Yep. Yep. Go on then, my lord. He's testing us, isn't he? Watch your back. Watch your back. Watch your back. 
Oh, we did it. Let's go. <laughs> it's ridiculous. You're treating them like the guests. wine keeps their wits dull. It makes us look weak. Both of you, please. So you'd rather they riot? Duncan, you're a damn fool sometimes. It doesn't matter what you think. I was chosen as sentinel. My lords. No, oh, man. Roderick. Hmm. My boy. Come, join us. Okay. Lady Talia, you should have told us the Lord needed help. Nah, she's got me. We're good. Eesh. Lord Roderick. It's good. <clears throat> It's good to see you awake, Lord Roderick. We didn't expect you so soon. The Maester said it would be weeks before you were walking. If you walked again at all. It was highly probable. Let's I told to you he'd be up and about. I'm not here to talk about my elf. Perhaps we should get started. Mm -hmm. Yes, let's. Dali has told me the state of our house. Then you know our situation is grim, my lord. No thanks to your sentinel. He's been getting the White Hill soldiers drunk. It keeps them off their guard. They think you're a bloody fool. My lords, please. Oh, oh, I'm a fool. At least I was there by Ethan's side when Ramsey Duncan. stole. I've told you. I was keeping an eye on the Bolton soldiers. You should have been protecting your lord. Now Ethan's dead. And Ryan a hostage. And what have you done to get him back? Nothing. Because we have no army. I will have order. I'm getting mad. I'm not here of to course. argue. Apologies, my lord. Exactly. I'm not here to argue. The White Hills have my brother. We fight amongst ourselves when we should be fighting them. Yes. We need an army to win that fight. And we don't have one. Not anymore. Summon our allies. Summon our allies, then. I'm afraid we have none left, my lord. What? We've heard little from the Glovers since the Ironborn took Deepwood Mott. Halsey's Helva, Grayson, and Brown Barrow were all slaughtered at the Twins. Oh, man. And the rest of our allies are terrified of the Boltons. You forget the Glenmores. Glenmores? You'd be wed to Elena Glenmore already, if not for the war. And her father is no coward. Mm. Now that you've returned, the marriage can proceed as planned. Marriage? The marriage? Well, much has changed. The Glenmores may no longer desire the Union. Lady Elena will decide for herself. Are married? <laughs> what? Your betrothed is on her way here as we speak. Lady Elena? What? She's coming now. What? He's barely recovered. My betrothed is coming to Ira. Yes, my son. A raven arrived this morning. Lady Elena is eager to see you. If she still wishes to marry, we'd have the allies we so desperately need. Their army would become oath-bound to Roderick. We could burn High Point to the fucking ground. Yes, <laughs> his marriage could be our chance. Of course, we must hope Lady Elena still wants to marry Roderick. We're talking about a marriage, not an Ironwood contract. Tell me, it does have a point. Mm. I'm not the man I used to be. You can still make her happy, Roderick. And she can do the same for you. They notice my lack of confidence, uh oh. If Elena does come to Ironrath, she'll see those soldiers in the courtyard. We starve them out, and they'll have to leave. I'd rather they be lying around drunk than setting the stables on fire. My lord, perhaps you could put an end to this tiresome dispute? Um, just handle it. Just handle it. We could keep them fed, but take away their wine. Well, that'd be something at least. Good. Now, there's <laughs> nothing more to discuss. I don't want to be, like, confrontational. Mister. It's time to light the ironwood torches. Yes, my lady. Uh oh. It's the funeral time. Welcome back, my lord. Thank it's you. got to be back. <sighs> it's the funeral time, guys. Gregor last lit these torches when his mother passed. Mm -hmm. Ironwood doesn't burn easily, he told me. But foresters have a way. And now we light them for him. And Ethan. 
<laughs> Why did they have to kill Ethan for? Her? That was so dumb. <laughs> How is your song coming? Mm. Ethan always helped me with music. It's not the same without him. Would you like my help? I can help you with it. That's all right. The last time you sang, all the dogs in the kennel started <laughs> howling. Oh. But thank you. I thought I'd Everyone to help knows him. how much Ethan meant to you. I'm sure it will honor him well. Mm, your brother. Twin brother. So sad. About Elena, I've sent a letter to Mira. The Tyrells hold much influence over the Glenmores. I don't know where things stand between her and Lady Marjorie, but maybe your sister can find a way to help. Hmm. Okay. Hey, it's Mira! It's entirely ridiculous. Uh oh. If it's not the flowers, it's the food or the table settings. <laughs> Wedding planning. Is that the letter to the orphanage? Yes, my lady. It's nearly done. Make sure to tell them we'll send all the leftovers. Hmm. And mm, something nice after that. You and the children are ever in our thoughts. A lovely sentiment, Mira. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and the seal. Here you are. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, that's like the wax seals. Oh, Dang. are there any more invitations to send, or are we finally done with the cursed things? One more. An invitation to Sir Maynard. Ah, yes. One of my father's favorite drinking companions. <laughs> I feel like your hand would be like hurting after writing all that. I have a letter for Lady Mira Forrester. Huh? Thank you. My pleasure, Lady Mira. That's that kid that like I don't know what to do with. What is it, Mira? It's from my mother. Mm -mm. She asked that I help ensure Roderick's betrothal to Elena Glenmore remain intact. How can you do that from a thousand leagues yeah. away? Ah, it's my help she's after, isn't it? Hmm. She's a bold woman. Most would shy away from asking such things. Of course. She knows you're very influential. She's not entirely wrong. <laughs> a letter from me could encourage the Glenmores to honor the betrothal. But it wouldn't be very discreet. You'd be forcing their hand. Aww. That isn't the way I do things. Oh, you even... pushed me before and you saw the results. I did. I'm sure your brother can secure the marriage on his own. I'd better get going. Mira, we'll talk more later. Okay. If Lady Marjorie wrote a letter. Oh no! <laughs> I hate decisions! Finish a ledge, finish a letter to Sir Maynard or forge a letter to. <sighs> what should I do, guys? What should I do? I don't wanna be like a problem. But is she going to know that I sent? Oh, man. I feel like there's just too much. Ah! I hate decisions. Okay, you know what? We're just going to finish the letter because I don't want to be a problem. We have I'm trust. sorry, Roderick. We have... We, we have... Sir we have trust Maynard. in Roderick. You are here We have trust in Roderick. <laughs> Mira. Lady Marjorie sent me to pick up the letters. <sighs> Sir Maynard. <sighs> 
The man's breath smells like a brew house. Right I was hoping I'd catch you at something slightly more exciting. A love letter, perhaps? No. Or a declaration of war? I know you're very busy with Lady Marjorie and... and all that's happening with your family. But I was hoping we could talk. If you don't mind. Uh, what about? What about? Well, it's... We what? really should get these letters sent first. What? Tell Do me! you need any help with those? I've got them. Oh man, did I make the right choice? I don't like this. Jeez. Oi, fuckhead. Hey! You might be new here, but you're in my spot. Oh. So move. Sorry. I think we'll get along fine. Most of you will be dead within the year. I don't want to be a problem. Frostfinger and his bloody speeches. If you want to survive in the night's watch, listen close. You know why I got sent to the wall? The wall was erected over 8,000 years ago. Shh. You'll get us in trouble. Don't be such a bootlicker. At this girl I used to fuck now and again. Face like a queen, tits like a whore. Turned out she was married to some Nordling. He tried to stick me with this. Ugh. I'll stuck in him instead. Shut sure, up for once, will you? What's your problem? I'm sick of Finn bragging about all the girls he's fucked. <laughs> And what diagram are you here for? Fucking potatoes. Potatoes? Potatoes? <laughs> potatoes? What are you talking about? Potatoes. I stole them. Oh. That's what got me sent to the wall. Nobody cares, thief. Don't call me that. My name's Cotter. Cotter the potato thief. <laughs> There's one for the songs. Oi, my sister was hungry. Oh, I've got something for stop your arguing. sister. Stop arguing. You stop arguing. Who in seven hells is talking back there? I told you. Oh, God. Here we go. Total. Who was it? Um. Not me. You're looking at the wrong recruit, sir. So it was someone else? Ah. Uh -huh. Mm hmm. It wasn't Not me. wise to point the finger at your new brothers, Tuttle. But it wasn't me! Garrett Tuttle here wants to be a ranger. So we can go north of the wall and die on some wildling spear. But what he wants doesn't mean shit. Oh, dang. So today you're all gonna show me what you're made of. Can you swing a sword? Shoot a bow? Are you strong? Those who do well might just survive mm. the rest of you frostfinger oh he's cute I need a word oh he's cute who's he go on get started <laughs> i'm weird he is though best of luck tattle thanks noob <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Ah. <laughs> Again. Oh, do I have to choose what I want to do? See those dummies? Those are fens. Come to eat your brains. Who is that guy? Gotta be faster. Huh. All right. Well, it looks like they're gonna stare at us. So, um. We will be back, guys, with the next episode. If you enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to hit that like button. It means a lot. Don't forget to comment below and subscribe for more Game of Thrones videos. And by letting me know if you guys do hit that like button, it means I can upload these faster. So, awesome! Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you all later. Bye, guys!